Okay, so our first step is to wash our hands. So Isaiah's gonna come over to the sink. Here we're gonna use soap. We're gonna wash both the front side and the back side of our hands for 20 seconds. If you're not sure how long 20 seconds is, you can sing the ABC song, you can sing the birthday song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Okay, after you're done washing your hands, you're gonna dry them off. And we're gonna put on some sterile gloves here as we prepare food so that we are safe. We wanna be very mindful of COVID. So if you're doing this in your house with your family, you don't need to wear a mask. If you're doing this with someone that you don't live with or who you haven't been tested with before, we're gonna want you to put a mask on just to be safe. I'm gonna wash my hands and Isaiah's gonna walk you through the next step. So the next step will be for us to wash our vegetables. So once Erica finishes washing her hands, I'll get the vegetables cleaned up. We'll show you how to shred them. Okay guys, so I'm gonna wash the rest of them off. You want to make sure that you rinse the vegetables really good so we don't leave anything behind. They're nice, clean, and fresh. We're going to open up the mushroom package and rinse those really well. While he's doing that, with an adult present, we'll cut off the ends of the squash and the zucchini. Always ask for parental permission before using a knife. Now you can use as many mushrooms as you want or as little mushrooms as you want. You don't have to use any mushrooms at all, but it's a nice extra hearty um, addition to the dish as we're not using meat. Mushrooms can be used as a meat substitute. Okay. Okay. So this is your spiral vegetable cutter. It's a little sharp, so be careful. Do not put your fingers inside the vegetable cutter. Only on the outside. So, you grab a vegetable, Stick this on the end. <laughs> it's a little slippery. Okay. You have a choice. It's a thin side and a thick side. So for our vegetables, our spaghetti, we're gonna want um, thick noodles. Good. Look healthy for it. Right. Okay, when you get to the end, with the assistance and guidance of an adult, you're gonna to wanna to take out the end. This should be about this much left, okay? On the other opposite end of it, you'll have these extra pieces. You can just throw them in. And you can decide how much uh, zucchini noodles you want. We'll plate this for right now. We'll sit it here as we get ready for the squash. 
and just move that to the side. For later, a little extra, I'm gonna take that end part out. There we go, and we'll do the same thing that we did with the zucchini. Again, when you're doing this round, you want to push a little bit with each turn. So gently push in and turn. Again, we're getting some nice, thick looking Squash noodles. Mix that in with our plate all the way down to the end. We definitely have enough here for at least two or three plates. We'll take the extra and just put it to the side. Once you're done with your veggie cutter, we're going to put that in the sink to clean and disinfect. Now, if you want to, you can just a little razzle dazzle with the salt and pepper on top of the noodles. You don't have to, that's an option. We do want to encourage you to take it easy with the salt and the pepper because too much isn't healthy for you. Isn't healthy. You just get a little dash. What does that guy do with me? <laughs> <laughs> There we go, nice. <laughs> okay, so our next step is to get our sauce prepared. So to do that, we're gonna cut up some of our mushrooms and put them in a pot to saute. You can cut up using the whole mushroom, as you see Isaiah doing here, stem and the top part. And remember, have, a, have an adult present when using your knife and the stove. Once you have enough mushrooms for your plate, as again, these can be used as a meat substitute. So however meaty you want your veggie spaghetti to be, be the how many uh, mushrooms you use. You're gonna bring them over to the stove where we already have some cooking. We put in a little bit of olive oil or butter you can use. Again, not much, just a little dab and we'll set them in there to saute. We have a spoon, we're just gonna move them around a bit. Now, you do not have to add seasoning here if you don't want to, but you can. And again, we wanna do just a little bit. So we chose to do some garlic powder garlic. on our mushrooms. So we're gonna add that to the pan, just sprinkle it over these mushrooms while they're cooking. Maybe a little bit more. We can add more. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna let that saute for about a minute or so. Now, the ragu that we have, we picked the tomato, garlic, and onion naturally flavored chunky sauce. You don't have to pick this one. You can just do traditional. They do have meat flavored ones as well. Um, but this is the one that we chose. All options. It does also have to be ragu. It can be any kind of spaghetti sauce. So now that the sauteed mushrooms are done, they're good and sauteed. Oh, those look good. Yeah. So we turn the heat down to low. So now that the heat is on low, we're gonna add. We're gonna add our sauce. Low pour here. I'm gonna 
stir it in. Now, if you picked the traditional style spaghetti sauce, this may be an opportunity to add some more seasoning here. Even if you did pick one with seasoning, you can season it to taste. So if you'd like a little more, or if you think it's good how it is, that's your option. You can get as creative as you want here. We're gonna add just a little bit more of the garlic powder to the sauce. Another little dazzle, razzle dazzle of salt, not a lot. Just a sprinkle and some pepper. I like my food to have seasoning. So we're gonna stir that in, we put the heat back on low, and we're gonna cover it to let it sit just to warm up and kind of marinate. There we go. Okay, while that's marinating, we're gonna take the extra zucchini that we have and put it on another plate here. We don't want to throw anything away. This is good, healthy food here. So we're gonna mix that in on our second plate. You know your sauce is ready when you start to see it boil up. Ooh, that looks good. So we give it a quick stir around. Make sure nothing is settled. Definitely looks good to me. We're gonna turn up our heat because we don't want our sauce to burn. Okay. Again, with an adult person, because the pan is hot, we'll bring the plate over to the pan and put our sauce on top. Again, be careful because the pan is hot. Okay, so once you've plated your food, you turn the stove off, um, and with your parents' help cleaned up your area, you're able to sit down and enjoy a very delicious meal of vegetable spaghetti. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you soon.